all this is isha here from isha's crafty site and today i'm here to share with you all my design team project for sack crafters um this will be my last design team project for this season and i'm um really had fun uh, working with all the SaaS products and I hope you all also enjoyed all the projects which I created for her um, her store <laughs> so uh, you know the Sa had given us uh, some of the products to alter so this project today which I'm gonna share is one of her shadow boxes and it's a very beautiful uh, shadow box and so I wanted to keep it for myself and <laughs> as it was like uh, my anniversary was coming up this year it's like my fifth anniversary so it was again special so I decided to use um, the shadow box as a gift to my husband for our fifth anniversary and I personalize it for myself so uh, lately you all have uh, seen that I have created a lot of shabby chic projects and so I wanted to give uh, myself and all my subscribers a break from shabby chic style and I wanted to do something different so uh, I have altered this uh, shadow box into a different style than usual and I am really very very happy with the outcome and I hope you all also like it it's turned out very very cute and very very beautiful so here is what I created this is Sa's hexagonal uh, shadow box and it is so such a beautiful piece because um, this has a beautiful uh, flourish at the top. I don't know what you call it, a flourish or an ornate um, shadow box topper on it. And you know, it's so, so beautiful. I love flourishes. So it gives it a gorgeous, gorgeous look. And yes, this is me and my husband five years back <laughs> in our wedding. Um, I'm an Indian girl. And uh, so uh, as uh, you all know, or if you all don't know, we have a lot of dressing up in our wedding. And I'll just give you a zoom in of my picture see um, I wore a lot of ornaments and it, it it's beautiful you know <laughs> and any bride would look very cute in any of the weddings that might be an um, Indian wedding or any other wedding but yeah so that's my wedding picture and I wanted to create uh, you know wanted to have an antique look so what did I do was that I um, you know altered the picture a bit and uh, used some uh, added some sepia uh, tone to it and so it could I mean it made it the picture to look like antique okay so it doesn't have a black and white tinge it looks like black and white but it has a brown tinge and so when I had this picture I was very very sure that I wanted to keep all my chipboard and the wood embellishments which I wanted to use on this um, shadow box to be in the natural color and red is usually the color um, which you know is uh, considered to be very festive and in the weddings and uh, Indian festivals you'll see this color more so I decided to use this color and I used uh, what did I do was um, I just used this same cardstock into the background and then assembled the whole uh, shadow box I also covered the sides of it with the same uh, colored cardstock and then I have done a lot of stenciling look at this it looks so so pretty what did I do was I used this beautiful stencil from Ranger and I love love these leaves on it it's absolutely fantastic and you all can see that I have really used it nicely <laughs> so I used my handmade texture paste I mixed my handmade texture paste with the acrylic paint and got this beautiful color and then I stenciled um, these leaves all around the box as you all can see over here and then at the back side I used this Heidi Swap stencil it's absolutely beautiful I love these see so I used that at the back side and 
uh, that's what effect I have got I also had uh, edged the paper with the black chalk edger to give it a bit you know dusky and uh, uh, what do you call um, antique look okay so that's there and then the topper i did not paint i wanted it in natural color so i kept it that way and these are the feet this box is very 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 simple to assemble and it was a very uh, quick project for me because it did take at all any time to assemble and it's really very simple it, i didn't have to struggle for any of the piece so i did that and i did the stenciling and then what did i do was that i used uh, you and me to board a uh, piece from SAS tour which you can see here and I use this absolute favorite heart embellishment of mine from SAS tour this is a wood embellishment and it comes in the pack of like smaller medium and bigger hearts and I love 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 this because it's very very pretty and very intricate so I use that heart um, uh, embellishment over here this leaf is also again from sas tour and it's a beautiful chibod uh, flourish you know the larger ones so i use that there and the letter d love is uh, also from sas tour so uh, only this had a bit different uh, color so what did i do i used the same texture paste on the letter love and then i used my red um, chalk edger ink to give it this cool effect and i love the effect on love because um the alphabet love i wanted the um it to pop out a bit so when i etched it with the red chalk edger um it really you know makes it to pop out very very beautifully so that's so so pretty and i love it and these are some of the um handmade flowers i made and i have a tutorial for this if you all want to check out i'll leave the link in the description box below so you all can check it out they are very, very simple to make and I like to make uh, my flowers at, a, at times because you know uh, when you have the same cardstock you can make the flowers on your own they are very quick to make also and you can personalize them you know so um, I also uh, used my black chalk edger ink on the flowers so it it you know perfectly matches the whole project and then i wanted to add bit bling to the project so i used some of the bling i had in my stash so i used the bling over here 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 on the flower centers over here and one over there so that's it so i love it look it looks so so pretty and my husband also liked it very very much and i really think it turned out very very cute i hope you all also like this project and definitely uh this shadow box could be a great gift if you want to gift it to someone because it's also in a very very good price and if you all want to have some discounts you can use my coupon code Friends. at the time of checkout and you could get 10% discount on your $30 or more purchase from SAS store so definitely um, you know um, use the coupon codes and get your discounts right so that's it for today um, from my side and see you all guys later with a new crafty project stay for the close-up pictures coming up and don't forget to check the description box for the important informations bye guys